what it is is just it's just human nature when people thought they think they have all the answers and then you got these coaches who've been doing this job for 20 30 years they've seen every single thing you know they've seen it all so you know just when bad stuff happened you got to look yourself in the mirror like where well, maybe i don't have all the answers and that's what i believe most of the guys on the team you know had to face since you know coach long came on board uh two years ago you guys have turned into one of the best pass rushing teams in the country. What specifically has he done to um, get you guys where you are now? Fundamentals. Fundamentals, that's, that's all I got. Fundamentals. Just when you look at this Michigan offense and Spade, what sticks out about them? Uh, they're a great team, you know. They, uh, you know, they come in, they go into a game with the mindset to run the ball. Uh, I believe this is going to be an old school game, you know, back Dick Buckets, Jack Lambert type of football. As far as obviously you had high hopes and expectations for yourself, uh, satisfying to be the, you know, the conference defensive player of the year, the, the All-American stuff, you, you take some pride in that? Well, yeah, man, you know, you go down, you know, I go into the summer wearing down goals and, you know, the best thing, the best film ever is, is achieving those goals. You know, I'm still not done. I still got one more game left, but you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, you know, happy with myself. I give myself a pat on the back, but I'm still not satisfied. With the skill players that they have, how important is it to you know disrupt the pocket and make stay uncomfortable? We're just gonna buy into the uh, to the game plan. Listen to what, what, what uh, Coach Keller have in store for us, and go in there and you know just try to pursue it. I mean, offensively, are are they comparable to anyone you've seen, or are they kind of oh, different? No, I mean, it's different. It's different. This old school. It's old school. Now, for you, when you say old school, like, how would you describe that to someone? Like, are they just like a run first, run second, run third, three yards caught a dust team, or is it a little bit more complicated than that? It's just a pro style offense. You know what I'm saying? Two tight ends, two backs, one wide receiver, and you know, it's just, it's just you know, a pro style offense, which we rarely see. You see a lot of a lot of spread, a lot of zone read, a lot of one read throw, RPOs. Do you, do you like kind of you're adaptable and will, will match up against any type of offense, but that old school type of like just you and the guy in front of you, do you like that that type of offense going against that? That's how I was reading that. What are some of the things that stand out from Jabril Peppers that you've seen in the films? He, you know, he, he gets he gets in on offense sometimes. I haven't really, you know, seen much. You know, very great athlete. You know what I'm saying? You know, quickness. You know, so I haven't really, you know, I'm still breaking down. You know, you know, I've been trying to graduate and all this stuff, so I haven't really watched him as I as I have. But you know, starting, you know, ever since last night, I've been really engaged in the film, breaking, dissecting them down. So, you know, a lot of films that a lot of you know when he was asking about tight ends and all this stuff, I haven't really, because I'm still just studying, you know, watching games and stuff. So I haven't really actually dissected him yet. Going back to what you were saying about Michigan's offense being like old school and the different offenses you face, I, I don't want to recount them all, but like how many different offenses would you say you have seen? Because it seems like you've seen spread, you've seen old school, you've seen pro style, you've seen kind of a lot. I mean, is it kind of wild to think like, damn, you've seen that many so far? Yeah, they, they kind of remind me, not that they're, they're, they're not the same, but you know, when it comes to old school, I would say Boston College, you know what I'm saying? A chance for that also college. But in terms of just pre like preparing and playing for that many offenses, I mean, like, what's it been like in terms of just every week seeing something different now that you're at the end of the road of four years? To be a great defensive player, you got to be able to adjust to anything. First, how big of a deal will tonight be for your family as far as walking and graduating? Uh, it'll be very good. You know, my mom is coming to town right now. You know, uh, got my cavalry already, and now I'm just just, just ready to take in a moment, and just get another degree. Share your degree. Sorts Marcus, uh, you talked about Coach Long before. I saw a couple, like, a couple of players making jokes about phrases he has and like little catchphrases. Does yeah. he say the same things every day, or is it just certain things the way he says them? He is just he has the same phrase for every situation. So if I see J. Rob mess up, or Brian mess up, or sweat, I know exactly what he's about to say. Sometimes I say it before you say it. He don't have to say nothing at all. So there you go.
<laughs> when we were talking with Nadi, we asked about different guys, and he was saying that Christmas is a dude who's fast. He's like, in some ways, he thinks Christmas might be faster than this. No, that's not true. We were in the summer, and I smoked him and Rick Winner. So, uh, like, was it like a 40 yard or? It, it was it was 20 yards, and because if we did 40, I'm, fa I'm, I'm lighter than them, so I was going to leave them. I beat it from the start, and I finished even stronger. They run, we got these GPSs, I don't get it. I beat them in the race, but they run the faster miles per hour. I'm like, how is that? You know, in fact, if I just beat them in the race by five yards, how they for running faster miles per hour? So they go, oh, I got faster miles per hour, but I just beat you in the race. So how does that, like, how does that correlate? You know what I'm saying? So I don't argue with that. You know, I just play football. Well, in in terms of Christmas and what he brings, though, what growth have you seen from him specifically? Uh, very good. You know, uh, just bond into Coach Coach Higgins, uh, coaching. And them just getting better every single week. You know, he's very mature. We're very proud of him. You know, his production is going up. And uh, I believe he's, he's going to have a, red, a very big season next year. Right. For this being your last game and for the team as a whole, um, what would a victory, you know, mean for you guys? It means a lot because this, you know, because it could teach the young guys, you know, what it takes to, uh, you know, yeah, ever, ever to, uh, yeah. to finish out oh. and do good in games and all that stuff. And hopefully this carry over to next season. Marquez, Marquez got invited to the Senior Bowl. He's, he's been a guy that kind of has been a little bit under the radar. I think it bothers him sometimes. Why do you think that he doesn't get it? some of the attention other corners? I believe it's just like Marquez. There's a lot of people on our yeah. team, you know what I'm saying? And I, that's one question I got, you know. Why they hate us? You know what I'm that's my big question. Why? Just why? One more. It really, it really has been. I mean, Dalvin not getting to the Heisman, all American teams. Some of you guys left off all American teams. I mean, is it is it maddening? Is it, or do you just tune it out? Just tune it out. That's for Coach Fisher. Practice. Go play. That's all we did. To you, what's the accomplishment you're most proud of? Defensive Player of the Year, graduating tonight. Graduating. Thank you. Thanks, guys.